Ευχαριστώ κύριε Πρόεδρε. Εγώ προσωπικά έχω θαυμάσει το κουράγιο του κυρίου Μπαρόζο και την πίστη του ότι τα πράγματα βαίνουν καλό στην Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση. Αγωνίστηκα να καταλάβω πόθεν προέρχεται αυτό το κουράγιο και νομίζω ότι προέρχεται από το γεγονό ότι ζει σε άλλη Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση από αυτή στην οποία ζω εγώ. Θα σας δώσω μερικές εικόνες επιπρόσθετες από αυτές που έχει δώσει ο κύριος Σβόποτα. Μόλις 100 μέτρα έξω από το Ευρωπαϊκό Κοινοβούλιο στις Βρυξέλλες, συναντάτε κάθε 100 μέτρα μερικούς ζητιάνους. Δεν τους έχετε δει. Και εδώ στο Στρασβούργο, στα πεζοδρόμια, κοιμούνται άστεγοι, στην καρδιά της Ευρωπαϊκής Ένωσης. Και στην Κύπρο... Χιλιάδες παιδιά καταφέρνουν να πάνε στο σχολείο σήμερα, στο 2013, επειδή φιλανθρωπικές οργανώσεις μπορούν να τους πάρουν ένα σάντουιτς και ένα ποτήρι γάλα. Χιλιάδες νέοι. Γι' αυτό είναι που λέω ότι μάλλον ζούμε σε διαφορετική Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση από αυτήν στην οποία ζει ο κύριος Μπαρόζο. Although we are still in the midst of an economic crisis, All the austerity policies and measures that are being promoted are not only aggravating the problems that the economy is facing, but are also leading to a deepening of the crisis. The result to increase poverty, the result to increase poverty and unemployment, more cuts and privatization. The harsh realities of the economic crisis cannot be afforded anymore by the people. By saying this, we are not only referring to the European citizens of the South, we are also referring to all those people who lose their jobs in Germany, in France, in Slovenia, in Cyprus. In my, in my country, where the decisions taken by Troika destroyed the economy. Unfortunately, the EU is associated nowadays with the economic crisis. It has lost the battle on technology and the lots, and it also lacks coherence. And now some words about Syria. We condemn any external intervention in the internal affairs of the country. We have already the example of, the example of Iraq, where under Blair's and Bush orchestrated witch hunt to discover one bottle of chemicals, more than one million people perished. They still try to find that bottle of chemicals. As long as European Union continues to be dragged by others, then it will never be able to play a sub substantial role towards peace. Concerning chemical weapons, we believe that the Russian proposal could potentially be a solution. Nonetheless, we cannot avoid from asking the question of who produces them and who sells them. It's high time to start being more serious about disarmament. We have a duty as Europeans to play an important role towards this end. This is the cornerstone for achieving global peace. As long as Europe accepts and continues to take part in the global arms trade industry, then wars will continue unabated. Mr. Barroso, there is a lack of democracy in Europe. Ten seconds, Mr. President. We have to accept that if we really want to see European citizens supporting the European Union project. The European Union can only and fully materialize for its people when a Cypriot or a Maltese feels equal with a German or a French or a British citizen. Democracy means respect to the minorities. There is no proportional respect to take to smaller countries. And I dare to say there is no respect even in the working of our parliament as it concerns the minority opinion. And as Baroness Ashton said later to Mr. Morsi, democracy is not only elections. Democracy is the life that lies in between two elections. Thank you, Mr. President.